there's been a massive debate thus far about the rookie class, right? And whether or not a rookie, specifically Brees Hall, will go in the first round of the 2022 NFL draft. Now, it's been back and forth. There's some people that love Brees Hall. Meanwhile, there's others that say that there's no chance he gets selected in the first round. So we had to bring Jeremy in to debate with Shane, Jake, and myself as to whether as to whether 2022 will be the first year that we don't see a rookie running back go in the first round since Bishop Sankey in 2014. That's right. Make sure you guys hit like, hit subscribe, and of course stick around because at the end of the episode we'll have a link for you guys to help you all out with some more rookie decisions and what you should do with the results of the NFL Combine. So we uh we have a tendency to I guess fade you know certain teams right like certain teams like have a tendency to fade certain positions I should say uh, you know we we saw like Miami right every single year we've seen Miami need to draft a running back and Arizona need to draft a running back since David Johnson and and yet they fade the position because they don't believe you need to draft that position high uh, Buffalo Bills are another team since bringing in Shady McCoy and even then you know I don't think they they paid very much for him. So when it comes to like different landing spots for teams, I kind of want to dive into this and see where you guys feel like they actually will draft a player somewhat early, increase in player's fantasy value, and what that player has to win the combine in order to get decent draft capital and be drafted by that team. So I want to start it out and I want to ask a question before we actually go into this because we're starting with running backs. And I want to say, can a running back this year actually go in the first round? It's likely going to be CJ Spiller, if any. But I mean, CJ saw... Spiller. I'm sorry, that's CJ. I'm sorry. CJ Spiller's coming back. Oh, he, Brees he's Hall. just sees all the bills. Oh, so he sees Isaiah all the bills stuff in the background, day. and he's mixing. That's Dude, what's I, going on it, here. whole whole entire meltdown right there. I'm sorry. Uh, Brees Hall. Brees Hall is probably most likely the top candidate to, to get drafted in the NFL. I mean, I don't see a, another candidate who could pull a. Uh, a Clyde Edwards Hilaire situation like they did with the Chiefs. So is Brees Hall likely the top back? And if he is, is there any chance he gets drafted in the first round? Uh, are the, do, when do the Chiefs draft? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, they might. Who knows? No, no, no. There's literally no reason to draft a running back in the first round unless he's generational. And even then, we're going to laugh at you and point at you. Um, no. They, there can't be. But that said, uh, who freaking knows? The, two of them went in the first round last year, and we didn't think any of them were going to go in the first round. So probably, yeah. I was just going to say the over-under on it is yes. I don't know if that's how over-unders work. But yes, Brees Hall is going to get drafted in the first by someone. I would. I, how much do you want to bet on that, Shane? Not a lot because I'm just like, betting against – I'm betting on the NFL's own incompetence. <laughs> Um, I was talking about it earlier today. I was like, you know, people are going to be really butthurt that are all over Tony Pollard because the Cowboys are going to end up cutting Ezekiel. Elliott. It's going to skyrocket Tony Pollard next year, not this year. And then they're going to go out and draft Bijan Robinson, you know, like with their first overall pick because that's what the Cowboys do. After, because... after re-signing Pollard? After re-signing Pollard, yes. 100%. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I <laughs> do. We'll see. They, they might they might draft Bijan, but they're not signing Pollard and drafting Bijan. That's insane. I'm just saying it could be possible with um, the Cowboys. They do look, backwards shit all the time. Uh, no team will draft a running back in the first round. It's not going to happen. Uh, this running back class is not very good. Uh, and uh, yeah, the thing is now, like, did you say this class isn't very good? The running back class is. Oh, I like okay. the wide receivers. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I like the wide receivers. I don't like the running back. <laughs> um, like, I like the running backs. Like, I like I like Brees Hall. I like Isaiah Spiller. I like Kyron Williams. I just, I would like them a lot better if there were two running backs better than them. And then that was like my running back three, four, and yeah. five in the class. <laughs> you know, I not agree. my one. Two. So uh, it's like, so it's not, that, it's not that there's bad players. It's just that there's not that elite buffer. I, I would stun me if a running back goes around one. At this point, like, running backs are available. A lot of teams have been devaluing the running back for a while. And most of the teams that still value paying up for running backs and drafting running backs highly have them already, right? Like most of the teams that don't have running back talent right now, for the most part, except for the Chiefs, uh, are teams that have just kind of made a decision. Like, no, we're not going to prioritize running back very highly. Like the Dolphins, like they need a running back, but they're not going to draft one in round one. Like they're, they're going to draft one when they, when they want to. So, what about you, Jeremy? What do you think on, on this topic? What do you think about the running back situation? Is there any chance that Brees Hall goes in round one? 
I'm going to say, yeah, I'll be devil's advocate here. What does he have to do? What does he have to do in order at the combine this weekend? What does he have to do in order to get drafted in round one? Because as of right now, I run a decent, I think probably run a decent 40 time. He doesn't look over. He doesn't look overly like long speed fast. So I think if he runs a decent 40 time, that might change some minds in the NFL, but he's going to go late. It's not going to, if it's anything, it's going to be like, Oh wow. Kansas city just took Clyde Edwards, a player all over yeah. again. Um, I mean, you're looking at a team like maybe Miami, you know, sitting at 29 right now with green Bay or with San Francisco's pick, they might take that shot this year. You don't know new coach, you know, they might, they might say, Hey, you know, we got a, we got ourselves a wide receiver. Why not get a running back and help two of that way. And they might take, Priest Hall, just because it's he's kind of that overall like workhorse style back. Um, Tampa Bay is another one that's back there that might take one if all the quarterbacks are gone. I mean, I, it's hard to say. You know, I I don't think the Bills do. I know there's been some talk about it, and like Jake said, I, I feel like I could see them almost being like a fall into like where Jonathan Taylor went in the beginning of the second round. I could you could see a couple there, yeah. um, like with the Jets, the Giants, the Texans. Um, the Jets have two picks at 35 and 38. You can see them maybe take somebody to pair with Michael Carter. Um, I think that's kind of where you're more likely going to see it, but I think Brees Hall might get that. I think the thing ball. this year, too, versus last year is like, I think this year's class is also deeper at running back than last year's. Mm-hmm. And I think last year was kind of a perfect storm that led to Harris and ETN going in the first round, which was A, yeah. <laughs> you had two very dumb organizations that decided they needed a running back. Like, like the Steelers and Jaguars are just not like, 21st century organizations uh and then you also had this class where you know i think etn and harris were both regarded generally and javante too honestly probably any of the three of them would be rb1 in this class by consensus and then you also had just no other running backs that anyone liked i mean after those three there was no running backs drafted in the second only trey sermon in the third who i'm not sure plays in the nfl anymore um like everybody else was drafted on day three it was crazy so I think this year we see like more day two running backs. Uh, I mean, you can't have less. There was only one. Um, so I think this year, let's say we see like six or seven running backs all uh, around two and three. That would be my guess. Hopefully y'all found some fun landing spots for some of these rookies. Let us know in the comments which rookie you would like to see go to which team for the running back position. And of course, make sure you guys hit subscribe, hit like, and check out this video as to what you should do with the combine results and how you should evaluate players moving forward.